What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battle video. And in today's video, we are gonna be battling Alexis. We are gonna be using our Tyranitar, aka Godzilla theme team. We are going to be leading off with Eater Nottis. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking Grimmsnarl. Yeah, Edenatus and Grimmsnarl. I feel like Edenatus can lead off pretty well against most of their team. And especially considering we have Meteor Beam on Edenatus, we can pick up the KO on the Thunderous. We could pick up a KO on maybe the Incineroar. And we could scary face the Latios and then kill it with Dynamax Cannon. Alright. Okay. Okay. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I just I just remember this. Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we are gonna do. Uh, Dynamax Cannon into the Landorus, and we go for Fake Tears into the Landorus. And then we go for Meteor Beam into the Thunderous. This is me hoping that he isn't faster on the Landorus than my Eater Nottis. But then again, my Eater Nottis is not that fast, and Landorus can be kind of speedy. Okay, so I think he's maxing the Landris. All right, so this is fun. This is fun. No, he's maxing the Thunderous. Wow. What? Max Airstream, probably. Probably Max Airstream Earthquake. If it's Max Airstream Earthquake, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh wait, we are faster, never mind. And we get the KO on the Landorus. That is great. Oh, he goes for Max Knuckle. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. Oh wow, they did a lot. Oh my Jesus. Um, trying to figure this out right now. <laughs> oh, it's life orb. Okay. I was wondering, Jesus Christ, the amount of damage that did is ridiculous. Okay, so he sends in the Cinerar. I don't think anyone cares about Incineroar. I think what I can do right now is potentially go for a Dynamax Cannon and a Fake Tears. Yeah, Dynamax Cannon and Fake Tears. I think what would be really tricky is if he uh, fakes out onto the Eater Nottis. That would be bad. That would be really bad. That would be really bad, but I think we could survive the turn on the uh, Eater Nottis. But then it would come down to like this whole speed thing. Okay, he fakes out into the Grim Snarl. All right. That's interesting. Well, we got the Dynamax Cannon, and that's going to be doing two times the damage because of the Dynamax. Ooh, look at that. Nice damage. Max Ooze. Probably into, like, the Grim Snarl. Okay, it is into the Grim Snarl. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, because I really wanted my Grim Snarl to stay alive. also gets me is like he is uh he is life orb so who this isn't gonna be going the way he wants it to go 147 where are we at with eater Notice? 181 jesus christ okay i'm thinking we go for tyranitar
I'm definitely thinking we go Tyranitar here. We go for a Dragon Dance. Uh, we go for a Meteor Beam into Thunderous. And... Yeah. Yeah, we just Dragon Dance. Actually, actually, actually. Yeah, yeah, Dragon Dance is safe. Dragon Dance is safe. I'm thinking too much about this. Just hoping that we are Power Orb. I think we are Power Orb, though. Yes, we are Power Orb. So we do get the Meteor Beam. And we KO the Thunderous. Which is nice, because that means the uh, next couple of attacks that we have going out are going to be doing even more damage into his next few Pokemon. He goes for a Parting Shot into Tyranitar. And that's okay, because we did go for a Dragon Dance. Okay, but he is going to switch in. So he is going to switch in. And that's going to be a problem. Latios, okay. Okay, but I went for a Dragon Dance. So we might be minus one, but we're not going to be that down bad. And our speed is up, so there's that. It might be cocky of me, but I could go for another Dragon Dance. I could go for another Dragon Dance. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go for another Dragon Dance. Like, he's not going to be able to do much. I'm just kind of worried about the, the Latios, but if we just keep Dragon Dancing, we will eventually get faster than both. I'm just trying to see what the speed tiers are looking like. Okay, he fakes out the Eater Nottis. He's probably gonna go for like a Psy Shock. Oh boy. We might live. Yup, we do live. Okay. Now we're back to neutral. I'm gonna go for a Dynamax Cannon and I'm gonna go for the Max Rock Ball into the Incineroar. At this point, he has the Parting Shot and I believe we are solidly faster than the Incineroar and we are at neutral. So a Max Rock Ball should be enough to kill an Incineroar and also with the sand up we don't have to worry about latios doing that much damage to us and we still have our max so ho, ho, we have a lot of things going on here honestly i've been watching the vgc championships and i cannot stress enough Hatsumi versus ko match is heartbreaking oh we are faster nothing is more heartbreaking than Seeing a trainer like Tatsuya running a Galissapod Pokemon you don't really see too often at that level and that Galissapod is just putting in work it's doing numbers it's saving the team it's getting the wind and because of a technical problem in his switch he basically loses the second match that would have put him in the finals and then Ko manages to get the third victory okay the opponent just disconnected. Oh, Jesus. You made it more important to fake out my Eater Nottis, which is a valid thing to do, than to potentially go for a parting shot or something of the sort into the Tyranitar and keep it down. That's your fault. All right. Our second match is going to be up against Nikki. She has a Zapdos and her Shifu, uh, Kyogre, a Talonflame, a Zygarde, and a Calyrex Shadow. Oh my lord. There's something wrong about Calyrex Shadow, honestly. Uh, we're going to lead off with Claydol and Crimsnarl. And I just want to check what his lead is going to be. If it is the Calyrex shadow god help us all okay 
God help us all. But I can deal with the Calyrex, and I can deal with the Zygarde with uh, G Max Grimmsnarl. It's just I would rather. All right, Talon's mine. Okay. Okay. All right, I like this. I like this. I like this. Okay, um, we're gonna switch into Rillaboom and we're gonna go for a Trick Room. He's gonna go for a Tailwind. Tailwind is nothing against Trick Room, buddy. Nothing. Oh my god, look at that power. Wow, such power. Such ferocity. But congratulations, now you have the slowest Pokemon in this game right now. We're gonna go for a Grassy Glide, and we are gonna go for a Cosmic Power. So we can have stored power kind of boost it up a little bit. That's if we don't lose Claydol, right? If we don't lose Claydol, great. Because then we have some pretty decently strong stored powers going into his team in Trick Room. He withdrew Kyogre. Okay. Coward. Okay, Grassy Glide's still going to hit pretty hard. Ooh. What is Talonflame going to do? Probably Brave Bird. Lair Blitz. Okay. Hmm. 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 I mean, okay. We're going to send out Godzilla. And we changed the weather now, so we get a special defense boost. I'm gonna go for a... Honestly, I wanna go for like a Max Quake. Hmm. Hmm. Big risk, big rewards. Big risk, big rewards. Okay, let's just see. As far as speed, I just want to know. I just want to know how speed looks. 77, 95, okay. <sighs> Maybe I'm just going to get greedy. I'm just going to go for another one. Uh, I'm going to get greedy here. We're going to go for a another cosmic power. If we go for a Cosmic Power and we manage to successfully get a Max Quake Special Defense boost, then Claydol is sitting at 5 boosts. And Store Power is going to hit so hard. Oh, okay, we do take out the Urshifu. It's also really good because, like, Tyranitar enjoys another Special Defense boost as well as being in the, uh, in the sand. So that's kind of great. We do get the Cosmic Power off, but the thing is, do we survive this turn? Do we survive this turn as Claydol? No, he goes for the U-turn. That is okay. That is okay. If I was her, I'd probably try to set back up the, uh, the rain. Okay. What is the next Pokemon? I'm kind of worried. What is the next Pokemon? I mean, 
We can change the weather for Kyogre. But it's just gonna be like, if it just comes down to it, it's All right, well, wait, Kyogre, it's just gonna turn into like this weather war, to be honest. Uh, we can go for max rock ball and we can go for stored power in the Kyogre. And that's gonna do a lot. Thing is, do we have anything for Zygarde? I don't think we do. Okay, who is she maxing? That's the thing. If she goes for like a max protect on Kyogre, okay. I'm worried about a max guard from Kyogre. That's just really going to make this kind of uh, stressful. A max guard on the Kyogre will be kind of difficult. He doesn't max guard. That is weird. Okay. Oh, look at that damage. Oh my lord, it is a crit. And after five boos, does store power on the Claydol do it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lord, help me. That does nothing to Godzilla, though. After two special defense boosts, that does nothing to my boy. That does nothing to my boy. That does nothing to my boy. Thousand Arrows does nothing to my boy. Tyranitar basically eats an entire double up like it's nothing. He says, hmm, what else you got for me? All right, now because the uh, Tailwind petered out on their side, we can kind of go for Grimmsnarl, which is good because Grimmsnarl can kind of spook off the Zygarde. Also, we still do have another turn up max. That is phenomenal. Um, hmm. 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 I want to go for another max rock fall. He's probably going to max guard on the Kyogre. Yep, yeah, he's going to max guard. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. I should have doubled into the uh, Zygarde. Okay, we did solid damage. And we don't lose anything. And that's gonna activate our red card, so Zygarde's gonna have to switch out again. We can deal with that later on. Ooh, Calyrex, okay. All right, this is interesting, this is interesting. Because now it's just like, okay, so what do we do? You know, what do we do? I'm gonna go for Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Oh God, oh God, oh Jesus. Mm, I'm not, I'm not losing this thing. I'm not losing this here. Um, well, I mean, we, we might have to just, we don't have anything. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta go for crunch and Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Crunch and I'm just gonna go for Sucker Punch into Calyrex. He's probably sashed. No, he's not. He's not sashed. That's weird. You're not sashed? That's so weird. Okay. Goes for Max Geyser. And that is going to be enough to kill Godzilla, unfortunately. But we do have Eater Nathers. Okay. Okay. So this is where we really, really get down to it. The question is, how much health does Kyogre have at the end? He has Zapdos. Okay. I have either not I'm thinking maybe we go for a sucker punch in the Kyogre to kill it. 
because I feel like we are faster than everything on the field with Eater Nas. Meteor Beam is going to do a lot. Sucker Punch from this range should kill Kyogre, especially considering we aren't intimidated. And at least the Sucker Punch scares Kyogre off from making any attacks at the health range that is at. And there's no grassy terrain to recover anything. Okay, and we take out the Kyogre. Now the question is... One, do we KO the Zapdos with this Meteor Beam? Because uh, Zapdos is kind of bulky sometimes. And... What do we do about the Zygarde? Oh my god, that actually takes out Zapdos in one shot. Oh my lord. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go for a Dynamax Cannon and I'm just gonna go for a Scary Face. That way, just to be sure, even if he does go for a Tailwind on the Talonflame, it won't matter because he will still be slower. And that is a dead Zygarde. Now he's going to go for Flare Blitz into the Grimmsnarl. Well, that's going to do nothing in the rain. And uh, this is good. This is good. Now that the rain stopped, he's got to weigh his options here. All right. If Flare Blitz is his only uh, neutral hitting attack, then we're just going to go for another Meteor Beam. And I'm just going to be... I'm going to be a menace, and I'm just going to go for Fake Tears in the Talonflame. Because he can't kill Grimmsnarl at this point. Well, I mean, a Flare Blitz would probably hit pretty hard now, but like after a scary phase and you're not focusing down into the eater not slot that already is plus one now it's plus two special attack there ain't much you're gonna do and then he's roosting i i commend her for staying in but like that talon flame's dead one way or another it's dead and the fake tears is just to ensure that it's dead I want to make sure that this thing dies in one shot. There we go. That is how you end the match. And that is how you end the video. I really do like Tyranitar. But I've got to say, one of the people that really motivated me to make a Tyranitar themed video has got to be Madara, aka Uchiha Clan. And I've been watching his Pokemon Unite live streams. This man has been just absolutely destroying people with Tyranitar. And seeing Tyranitar in action on Pokemon Unite really got me to respect its power. And it just made me do a double take. Like, am I missing something? Like, everybody likes Tyranitar. Am I missing something in the actual Pokemon game? Trick Room Tyranitar is a menace. Some people, they like to run weakness policy on their Tyranitar, which is good, and it is probably the most efficient way to run Tyranitar because it is overall solid. It's just, its speed is lacking, but in Trick Room, in Sandstorm, it is nigh unstoppable unless you have some type of quad hitting fighting type move, whether it's physical or special. Mostly, you want to lean on the physical side to get the KO on Tyranitar, but if you crock the weakness policy and the Tyranitar is able to survive and retaliate, it's pretty much over. Uh, hopefully you guys love this Godzilla slash Tyranitar themed team. And if you like the video, please subscribe for more. Uh, see you guys in the next video. If you want to show some extra support, become a member. It's only 99 cents a month and I would appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have fun.